Crystal Flamond is from Wikwamakong First Nations in Ontario, who enrolled in the University of Winnipeg in 2012. Since enrolling in university, Flamond has had two children, having three altogether, but that hasn't stopped her. She's now nearly completed her Master of Arts in the Indigenous Governance Program. Her last step in completing her master's degree was to reflect on her experiences during her practicum, also known as a practicum defense. Flamond completed her practicum at Pekanjikum, an Ojibwe First Nations community. My hopes and aspirations is to learn the old ways of the Ojibwe people, and this is what I have in my heart. Pekanjikum is located in northern Ontario, and in 2010, the community was notoriously described as having the highest suicide rates in the world by the media. During her time in the community, Flamond was a youth worker. After listening and observing the youth, Flamond found her thesis topic. Can the introduction of culture through powwow serve as a healing strategy for a reduction of youth suicide rates in our First Nations? To explore this, Flamond created youth powwow clubs to help engage the youth creatively. Working with the youth, um, I, I've seen and heard that they wanted to learn more on culture within the powwow. So with this practicum, I decided that I would help in that way to have their desires or dreams, you know, to learn culture. Flamond organized workshops where young people were invited to let their creativity flow. From making their own regalia to learning about different ceremonial traditions. Flamond says the youth were quiet, but she could feel the appreciation. You could feel the sense of proudness. You could feel their sense of happiness, you know, their belonging. Currently living in Pekanjikum First Nation, Flamond wishes to continue working and inspiring the youth when she returns to the community. I hope that uh, somewhere on the First Nation that I could land a job where I can continue the work and have like powwow classes or powwow regalia making workshops through organizations and just continuing that momentum of learning powwow and dancing and culture. Flamand's gathering ended with the examining committee revealing she passed her practicum. Ashley Branson, APTN National News, Winnipeg.